Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone utility apps that I believe are very, very useful and you must try them out on your iPhone in 2024. And we're starting things off with the first one. Now, this one is called Immersive Blur. It allows you to blur out things on your pictures, whether that's a picture of people or maybe a screenshot. You can do text different like images that you have on a screenshot or on any picture or even faces of people. So when I load a screenshot like this, if I want to hide something, you can see right here, I have the option to select that and I can just tap on any text I want. And as you can see, it will hide that from your picture. This is way easier than doing this with the markup tool of iOS. I can even hide like pictures like that logo right there of iOS and any text I want. All I have to do is just tap on it to actually hide it from the picture and then it, then tap the download button right here to save the result under the camera roll. Now what you can also do is tap the settings right there and here will have the blur type. You can choose like a different color or just like a blur then you will have right here different shapes you can choose from square and size circle to actually choose what you want to actually apply to your image and this is easy as that you can just go ahead and hide anything you want from your pictures or screenshots and when talking about screenshots we have another very useful app here called shotify now with this app you will have your screenshots organized in a really amazing way now on ios of course we take a lot of screenshots and you will probably have hundreds of screenshots on your device and when you try to find something specific Specific, it's very hard to browse your screenshots on the stock photos app and find exactly what you need but not with this app you install the app you open it it will scan your screenshots and then it will categorize them like this so you can go ahead and just just view your screenshots from here and then go back you will have then what is really amazing here screenshots by apps and you can see it will actually recognize the screenshots that you took and will place them on different folders based on the app where you took the screenshot. Now, if I tap here, go ahead and view the screenshots from that specific app. I can view the screenshot like this. I can share it. I can download it back to my camera roll. Or if I tap the three dots right here, you can see I can delete the screenshot if I want to. Or I can tap on details. It will show me the app from where this screenshot was taken and also the text on that screenshot which you can actually even select and copy directly from here next up is an app called you checker now this is an app that i suggest for everyone to have on their device when trying maybe to buy a phone a used phone make sure you install this app first on the phone and it allows you to actually check different things regarding that device so once you have the app installed and you open it right there at the top you will see the latest ios version of that device then you will have the information right here regarding the device and then you will have things like the speaker the microphone the flashlight the wi-fi face id the gps basically everything that the device has and needs to operate normally now all right here you can see we have different categories we can just go ahead and try out your device and basically try out the components of the device and see if they're working properly if yes you mark it right here and it says now test passed and when you go here back you can see all the tests that the device has taken and whether it has passed them or failed any of the tests next up is an app called drop scout now this one is actually very very useful if you're trying to buy things and you want to get them on a discount then you must have this app now the way it works you go to amazon and you just copy the link of a product you come here tap the plus button and paste that link and what it does it will notify you at any price drop so here i have a case i can just go ahead and get a notification anytime this price will drop but what i can also do right there choose the percentage or open the price editor and choose a specific price that i might want to pay for this case in this case and of course it will notify me at that point of price 
also with search here you can just go ahead and search amazon straight from the app and we'll be able to actually add the products directly from the app without even having to search first on the amazon app shortcut archive is the next one for the video this one allows you to get a ton of very useful shortcuts for your device you open the app right here will have the popular picks so you have one for the park card net battery notifications right there we have some pretty cool ones that people have actually picked a lot then you will have all the new ones right here so you will have a ton of different screenshots that you can get for your device once you find one that you like which you can also search from here you can just tap right there and add this to your shortcuts app now what's really cool is that if you have created a shortcut that you think is useful and will be useful for other people you can tap the plus button and you can just paste the URL, add the name of the shortcut right here and share it with other people on this app. SuperX is the next app for this video. This app allows to play any video you want on the picture in picture mode. From any website where you have a video that you wanna place on the picture in picture mode, if that app or website doesn't support the picture in picture mode for your video, all you have to do is copy the URL. You can enter the URL right here, or if you have it copied on your clipboard, you just paste right there and it opens the video. And from here, you can just go ahead, play it, and start the picture in picture mode. It will have a button right there at the bottom to start the picture in picture mode. Now, what's really cool is that if you're using an app like Safari, for example, and you're watching a video, you can go to the share sheet and you will have a button there that will take the video directly from Safari into this app without having to copy the URL at all. Next up is an app called Vita. Now this app allows you to lock or hide your apps and it's really, really useful. So what you have to do here is create a group of apps you go like a group right here we can go ahead and choose any app we want so let's just select like an app right here let's go with facebook we can just go ahead tap the dumb button of course you can choose multiple apps now what you can do right here is lock them on a schedule so you can add a schedule so from any of the days of the week at any time you want those apps will actually be locked and also you can choose a zone, which means that you can use the location. So let's say you wanna lock this app only when you're at your home, you can do that and it's very, very easy. So once you have done that, you tap right here and now it's restricting the app. And when you go to the home screen, as you can see Facebook was right here, the first one, it's not there, which is really, really awesome. Now let's just go ahead and remove the restriction and there is facebook again now of course you can protect this app with your face id you enable face id here and passcode if you want to which means that no one will be able to actually open the app and unrestrict your apps the next app for the video is called gif keyboard this is pretty cool so head on to the settings of your device once you have installed this app go under general and then go right here to keyboard Go to keyboards right here, tap add new keyboard. They will have gift keyboard and then you can use it on any app you want. So just tap the globe right there. It will switch to this keyboard. That'll just allow access right there. There we go, allow the full access to this app. And then when we go here, what you will have is gifts. You can just go ahead and browse right there. You can go to the trending ones and you will have the ones that you have saved right there, which is really cool. Or you can choose right there to search for any GIF you want. Once you have found a GIF, you can just go ahead and send it right here. As easy as that, paste it, and you can just go ahead and send it on a message, on iMessage, or anywhere you want. You can e even add a caption right here or just favorite this so that you have it saved under your keyboard and have easier and faster access to that GIF anytime you want. My Weight is the next app for this video. It allows you to track your weight in a very easy way. All you have to do each day, tap the plus button, 
and record the today's weight. It will show you right there in how many days, how many weight you have lost or gained. Now, what's really cool about this app are the widgets. So head on to gallery right here and you will see the widgets that it offers for your device, which I think are really, really cool. They look pretty cool and they have a lot of information in them. So right here, you will have the lock screen widgets and you will have five different home screen widgets, which you can apply and add to your home screen. And last but not least is an app called Polet. This is an app that you can use within the iMessage app. So you tap the plus button right here. There we have the app and it allows you to create different polls so that you can send to your group chats maybe or to any of your friends. So you can add any question you want there. You have the answers here. You can add other choices. If you want to allow multiple choices, you can do that from here. And you will also be able to allow someone else to edit your poll. Once you have done all this, once you have done all this, you just tap send and you can see right there, the poll will be sent to your friends and the group chat or whatever you're doing. So that is it for this video, guys. If you liked any of these apps and you want to download them into your device, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.